In case you can't tell from that scrumptious looking food, we're in Italy. Hi, I'm Michael Bainbrook. I'm a writer, videographer. Together with my sweet wife Sharon, we love to travel. We just spent 10 days in La Marque where we rented a farmhouse outside Pergola and made it our home base. Then we saw these towns. Today we're in Sasso Ferrato. I check the map and find a back road to Sassafrato today. I like taking the back roads. The views are always spectacular. The road might be a little bumpy though. The risk of course is that you might get lost. But I'll tell you, I've found some pretty amazing things when I don't know where I am. So now we're in Sassafrato. I love that, that name. Say it with me, Sassafrato. The town is mentioned in medieval writings as early as the 11th century. It was owned by a couple of families and a house, but by the 14th century, it was its own town. It's the perfect size town for me, coming in at an easygoing 7,100 inhabitants. Sharon and I wander the streets. We check out a couple of churches, especially the uh, Church of St. Peter the Apostle. And it's not long after that that we find the square. And man, what a square it is. Long and rectangle, a couple of cafes, pillars. It's really beautiful. Before choosing a cafe and having lunch, we decide to see the rest of the town. And we stumble onto this incredibly lush and beautiful park. Turns out to be a park for lovers as they have a sign promoting kissing. Now I explained to Sharon that this could be a city ordinance and to avoid any problem, we should probably comply. Yeah, she didn't go for it. <laughs> I was much luckier here in Rome at the Trevi Fountain. Yes! You know, we tried to come back to Sassafrato, but we had a, uh, a terrible storm, and um, many of the towns suffered a lot of damage, and we were barred from uh, entering. Unfortunately, this was the scene the next time we tried to come back to Sassiferrato. Block off city. Back at the square, we order something to eat and Bar Costello. Mm -hmm. 
after a quick check of the menu, the drinks come out. And guess what else comes out? Usually in Italy, when you order some drinks, they bring out treats. We got some little crunchy cookies, some peanuts, and some chips. You don't always get this uh, everywhere, for example, in Rome, but in small towns like Sassaferrato, it's commonplace. Hey, we just had a great day in Sassaferrato. I'm Michael Bainbrook for Ticket to Rome. We'll see you at the next stop.